I have so many clashing fandoms right now. I got Pokemon on my face, I got freaking Slytherin cardigan, and I got Supernatural. What up? Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll be going over this Bulbasaur inspired makeup. So why Bulbasaur? One, Bulbasaur is freaking adorable. Like, go and look at him and tell me he's not cute because he is freaking amazing. And two, I am so obsessed with Pokemon Go and Bulbasaur was my starter Pokemon so you know I gotta, gotta go back to him. So without further ado, let's get started. So instead of doing the whole foundation concealer thing, we're going to completely bypass that for right now and just go straight into the eyes. I'm going to start off the eyes like I usually do and that is with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion Prime Primer Potion Potion Primer Potion God I'm gonna be using two Wet n' Wild palettes. They are boardwalk boozing and temporary solutions. I'm just gonna apply white shadow everywhere. Okay, next I'm gonna be taking some lime green shadow and I'm gonna apply that everywhere except the inner corner. I'm gonna be keeping this eyeshadow a little bit more rounded because Bulbasaur is kind of a round little guy. From Hempery Solutions, I'm gonna be using just this plain matte green, kind of a grassy green, and working that into the crease and outer corner. Next, on the smaller brush, I'm going to be taking a darker green and placing that into the outer corner and a little bit into the crease. Not as much as the last color, though. Now, I'm going to add a bluish green kind of color into the crease to add a little bit more dimension and depth and all of those kind of words. I changed my mind. So I decided that I want to kind of make this a halo eye. So on the inner corner I'm going to be going in with a mix of the darker green that we did and the bluish green. And then for the center of the eye, I'm just going in with a little bit more lime green. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be going in with that grassy green from like way in the beginning and put that all over and smoke it out a bit. Next, I'm going to take some of the dark, dark green and put that on the lower lash line and just not smoke it out as far. With a black liner, I'm going to tight line and then go halfway on my waterline. Next, I'm going to fill the inner half of my waterline with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I just did some round liner because I don't really feel like wings make sense for Bulbasaur because one, he can't fly, and two, he has a cute little round eye, so we're keeping with the round theme here. Yeah. For my 
mascara. I'm going to be trying something different from what I usually do. I'm going to be using one with a primer. These are the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Primer and Original Mascara things. Primers are weird. I'm going to be using the Morphe number 48 lashes because I just feel like Bulbasaur's got some sass and he needs some like flair, you know? So for my eyebrows, I'm thinking I'm going to do a mix of just like blue and the bluish green. Foundation, I've got Maybelline New York Instant Age Rewind. I feel like I do my foundation in this stupidest way. If it works, it works. Highlighter, NYX Avant Pop Art Throb, Super Shimmery White. Lastly, for the lips, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick in Ravishing Rose. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to be told when I make new videos. Until next time, bye! Also, if there's anything you want to see me do on this channel, be it a makeup look, an SFX makeup look, character, creature, monster, a makeup challenge, non-makeup challenge, basically anything, comment below and tell me that and I will probably do it even if it results in an embarrassing failure because that's kind of entertainment. Yeah? Possibly? Okay, cool.